Hi everyone, Jody here from Cornwall Car Care. We are back with another vlog. Porsche 928 GTS 1993. So this is 30 years old and it's in amethyst for the colour and really nice maroon burgundy but they call it amethyst. Another what I would call a classic. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna be doing some work on this one. Um, it's had a bit of paint work. This is in for a two-stage machine polish to try and tidy up everything that's on there. We've got some touch-ups to do. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna lift it up in the air or not, or leave it on the floor. As this is, as this is quite an old vehicle, um, I'll see if I get tired of working on the floor, whether I put it up on the lift or not. So the wheels are staying on, on this service. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have two stage machine polish, paint coating, we're having glass coating, wheel face coating, some interior work. The engine bay, I've already done this morning. I'll try and put a little snippet up here of, did it all with the steam. Um, I didn't wanna start introducing loads of water under the bonnet. It's fine on modern vehicles, but on these older ones, yeah, not so much. So that was all done by hand. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to get stuck into this one. The afters on this are gonna look epic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get so excited when something unique comes in. Yeah, this, this is why I do it. This, I absolutely love it. Like, I get to work on all different vehicles from all eras, and it's just, ah, oh, it's my pure dream job. Right, let's get in and have a look at the paintwork. Uh, I've got my food, that is ready, so we'll get on and do that, have some food, get everything masked up, begin polishing. Right, let's have a look at the paintwork. So we'll start on the rear lights. And as you can see, there is hardly any gloss on these at all. Just all them swells are hiding all that gloss. So that is gonna be a beautiful transformation, that is. Um, we've got some overspray just here, oh, there's a little blow-in line actually, just, just there, there's a little blow-in line. Yeah, even this Porsche reflector is absolutely covered in scratches. And we look at, we've got overspray all around them. So yeah, we're gonna try and tackle that. But yeah, you can see the kind of scratches that are in this. And this is the other rear light. Big clumps of overspray. Yeah, although it looks kind of nice and shiny, you can see the damage that's in it. There's a bird poo etching just there. But yeah, all the scratches. Yeah, they're all in there. Yeah, as you can see, all these deep scratches, bird etchings down here. Oh, that's a beauty there. Yeah, so we, we shall see what we can do. Yeah, so there's a lot of deep ones in here as well. All around the handle. Look at all of them, and on the handle. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in the handle as well. Yes. Yeah, all in the handle. 
But yeah, just there's so many. Once I've cleared all the light stuff up, it's when all the that's when all the deep ones are left behind. Now I'd say that the front has been painted more recently because although there are lots of swells and scratches on this they don't seem to be as bad as the rest. Yeah, well, so yeah, front end definitely a lot better than the rest. I don't know why my camera's really struggling to pick this up at the moment. Yeah, so that's the front end. And then we kind of get back to where we were. Yeah, as I say, I mean, the camera's really not picking this up too well, sorry. Um, but yeah, once all this fine stuff is cleaned up, we've got some deep long ones that run down there. Yeah, it just leaves all the deep ones behind and then they're the ones we're trying to get out with the two stage. Yeah, let me go onto the rear quarter. Yeah, so this is gonna be an awesome turnaround. So yeah, I'm gonna go and stop for some food. We'll get everything taped up and then we'll come back and we'll go through some pads, polishes and just see where this week is gonna take us. What a color. Woo. Yeah, catch back in a minute. First update on the Porsche 928. So I've done my little test section. Really happy with that. I can't get as close to these edges as I'd like. We've got a little bit of lack of peel and I've got to be very, very careful of that. So yeah, not uh, as much as I want to get really tight and get all these scratches out, I've got to do the sensible thing. So yeah, for the main part, I'm quite happy with that for a single-ish cut um, quick refinement just to kind of see what it's going to look like yes there are still scratches in there on a vehicle this age that's seen some pain got to be a bit wary so yeah but I'm happy with that I'm really really happy with that so let's get in and have a quick look yeah Woo. Oh, I've already had, not that you lot really bothered about it, two chicken burgers this morning. I've now got chicken fingers in brioche buns. Oh, I'm trying to get the weight on, I'm trying. It's slowly creeping up. So yeah, none of you lot worry about that. That's just something that I'm trying to do for myself is uh, maybe get a bit more muscle, because <laughs> I have none. So let's get in and have a look. Yeah, so swells and scratches, and you could see right down that bottom edge. <laughs> as much as I want to get right down there, I just can't. Uh, but yeah, from that to that, you can still see there's a little one there just by the light. But yeah, from that to that. Yeah, very, very happy with that. So, eat my food, use it back on. Let's get this cutting stage completed. I don't know how far I'm gonna get today, but 
yeah, I want to get as much of the cutting done as I can. Oh, come on. <laughs> it looks so good. Right, roll a bit of music. Let's get the polishing. <laughs> Making good progress on the passenger side. So I've just got the lower part that goes underneath the car to do. Uh, and a little bit to do around the top of the mirror, which I can't get in with a machine. So that's all got to be done by hand and in the door handle. Um, it just looks... I what, <laughs> Wait till you see the afters on this, it's gonna be ridiculous. So just onto the rear lights at the moment. And considering how bad these were, yes, I can't get them perfect, perfect. I, again, I can't really tape up along the bottom here because I can just see a little bit of paint from where this has been painted. And I don't want to risk putting masking tape on the actual bumper itself. I just don't want to risk it, so that's it, final. Um, so I've done a little tape line of before and after. Let me just grab the camera. Yeah, not very pretty, is it? It's just very dull, not much reflection. And as we come across, woo! <laughs> wow. Obviously, I haven't gone right up to that tape line, so you can still see some scratches just past the tape line, but then past that, it's, oh, look at that. And can I, look, you can just see down the bottom, there's a tiny little bit. I might come back to that and see what I can do. But yeah, from this to that. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't know how well they were gonna come up, so very happy with the results on that. So I'll get this part finished off, then start doing all my one inch work. I don't know what I'm gonna do about these letter letters either, that I've got overspray around them. I'll figure something out, because I can't leave it like that. 
So yeah, so I'm going to stay on tonight, going to get the back end done, maybe the tailgate, and then yeah, we'll call it a night, and uh, we'll come back in the morning. But yeah, I would like to get this rear bumper, rear bumper finished tonight. Definitely the rear bumper, maybe the tailgate. But yeah, that, ooh. That's crazy. I say it, I'm gonna keep saying it, the gloss that has been gained from removing all those swells. Yeah, right, set the camera back up, let's do a bit more. That's annoying. Where this has been blown in. The scratches are underneath the new paint. Nothing I can do about it. And we've got some cracks in the paint as well. Big one that comes down here. Oh, that's so annoying. But, can't do anything about it. Let's get on polishing. Oh, that's my right. <laughs> Cutting stage. Finally complete on the Porsche 928. Been a little bit tricky. We've got some little bits of lack of peel, little bits of rust, all to navigate around this one. Um, yeah, some low readings. It's just been very, very tricky and technical, but I love this kind of detail. It just, I love it. And getting to work on classics again as well. I came in this morning, and just like on the Daimler Sovereign video, the smell when you walk in, it's just like, oh. It's so nice, it's just a vintage smell. It's really hard to describe, but if you own a classic car, when you walk in your garage, you know that smell, <laughs> and it's just something about it. But yeah, so now we're gonna crack on with the refinement stage, Gion Primer, white Rupes pad Brr. so I'm going to stay on tonight we're going to get all the refinement done so that is then ready for coatings tomorrow <laughs> look at that this is going to look awesome in the afters right we'll set up a bit of time lapse on the refinement stage and yeah let's just get this knocked out
So we move on to Wednesday on the Porsche 928. First things first, I just want to say thank you again to everyone that subscribed. I've just hit 700 subscribers to the channel, or 702 to be exact. Um, yeah, oh, just thank you to everyone. When I first started this channel, my target was 200 and I was made up when I hit that 200. But yeah, we're on 700. So yeah, thank you to everyone that subscribed. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Love it, absolutely love it. So obviously my new target now is to hit that thousand. That is, I, I think I'll do a special post when I hit that as well because that's a big milestone for me. <laughs> so the Porsche, all the polishing was completed yesterday. That was all done. So this morning, got Spice Hack up for the panel wipe. We'll then do a Geon prep wipe down and then this one is going to have Geon Infinite Base Type 1. So this is going to add a super slick finish to the paintwork. Uh, it's going to be super hydrophobic. It's going to be really easy to clean in the future. Um, and it's going to retain all this gloss as well. Yeah, so we'll set the camera up. We'll make a start on all the panel wiping. And uh, yeah, let's get this coating on. That's the paintwork coating. Oh, that's looking so good. <laughs> right, we've got a couple of little bits of trim here on the front. Geon trim. doing out there <laughs> he's trying to get his van into his unit and it's got a steep uh, a steep step to get over oh it sounds like he's got it in Well, this might take me a while. Oh, to go right across the front. We'll come back in a minute. <laughs> oh.
Trim work is done. We're now onto the real faces. They've all been wiped down with Spice Hecka. Now we've got Gion Rim. Just give them a nice even coverage. Like so. I'd love to have taken these off and done a full inside and out, but on this job, it wasn't part of it. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna do the wheel faces. So three more to go. Then I think we're gonna make a start on the glass. Get that one knocked out as well. We're getting there. I'm making my way through my list today. So wheels have just been coated. G on tyre. There we go. And then what I'll do with this, I will do the final wipe down of the tyres at the end of the day or tomorrow morning just so that there's no product sling when the customer drives it away. How much better does that look? <laughs> right, I'm not gonna pick up the camera and move it because I've got this will over my hands. So yeah, let's get the other three done. <laughs> And then that's another thing ticked off the list. excited for this one. I mean, look at it. Wow. <laughs> Two things left to do. I've got to wipe the excess off the tires. Uh, and then we have my brand new bottle of Gion Cure. <laughs> so this is, it. this is gonna be its sacrificial layer while it's curing for the next two weeks. Um, Really easy to apply. Gion bald wipe, remove it with the Gion soft wipe. Done. I just want to get into the afters on it now. <laughs> yes, right, so I'm going to do this and we will catch back for the afters. Well, here we are at the end of this detail. <laughs> I've done it again. I've done it again, look at it. That, it just looks completely different from when this came in. <sighs> yeah, so this one had a minor correction, which is a two-stage machine polish. Uh, there were a few areas around all these strips and a few edges that I couldn't get close to because a little bit of lack of peel or... Uh, yeah, I just I couldn't get as close as I wanted, but... Hey, as an overall car, what an improvement. 
absolute improvement. Every time I work on a classic, it makes me want to do them even more. It's just everything about it. You have to work it a little bit different. It's like on a modern vehicle, you'd get it in, you tape up, you polish, coat it on, pretty much job done. But on something like this, you have to think. There's different techniques. Um, just the, the thought process of detailing a classic is completely different to a normal vehicle. Um, but yeah, just I love the whole experience of it. The smell, just, oh, it makes me want to do more and more and more. So hopefully in the future, I will get a chance to work on a few more classics. Yeah, it's definitely starting to become one of my favorite types of details to do. So yeah, so 1993, Porsche 928 GTS in Amethyst. Yeah, uh, finished off in Gion Infinite Base Type 1. Wheel faces have been coated, trim, glass, interior's been done, uh, engine bay's been done. Madness. Just look at it. Yeah, as I say, I've really, really enjoyed working on this one. It's just been very, very enjoyable. Some of them are more enjoyable than others, and this one is definitely up there. <clears throat> right. Ooh. <laughs> Don't stop looking at it. 1993 Porsche 928 GTS, which has been... GNIs! Let's roll some afters!